think not yet. Give us a sec. Give us a sec. I said that yesterday, and then when I watched the recording, we were already live, and we were both like, there we go. It, so. Connected. I think it takes a second for the connected messages. We're on Facebook, and YouTube is live as well. We're live. Hey, Good. everybody. Um, welcome to Tea Time at the Apothecary on TQ. Um, JQ. Tea Time at the Apothecary. Hey, check out my sweet tea setup. Ooh, fancy. Yeah. That's, uh, that's some work from, from home uh, advantage right there, huh? Greta loves this thing. And she, like, any chance now that she, we're going to use it every day now because she's like, well, if you're making tea every day, I want some. She's like, I always want to use that, but it's like, seems like a waste for one person, you know? (laughs) Yeah. So, uh, we, what are we drinking today, Jay? You want to show it? Yeah. Actually, T, you gave me that. (laughs) I don't think you realized it, but yeah. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, now I remember that, but that's cool. Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. yeah. So we're drinking some, uh, our, our organic green, uh, Hojicha green tea. Um, it's. It's just delicious. It's like, you know, it's, it's, it's like somewhere for me between a black tea and a green tea, you know? Well, because it has a little bit more of that. It doesn't go as tannic. It's not really tannins like black tea, but it has like this earthy woodiness. Yeah. Like this roasted quality or something, you know? I feel like a lot of times green tea has kind of a green grassy note to it no, this has this none of goes, that yeah. this one goes more like a little um earthy Sh- shroomy earth. yeah uh, yeah like yeah, like yeah. forest floor kind of yeah um, yeah it's great you know, i love we it get our, our old when i used to drink a lot of wine which i don't anymore but uh we would nerd out on on the scent. that was our favorite it was like earthier yeah. the better yeah. hmm. that is good i have to say um this is um yeah, I mean, I now I'm I can see how like every day now I'm gonna be like craving my tea at noon. <laughs> Dude, uh, it's it's a lifesaver. I previously I've only been like a tea when you're sick kind of person, you know. So like Greta will be looking through the cabinet looking for like drinking teas, and I'm like, I've got bronchial tea, I've got cold tea, I've got. Laxative tea, I got sleep tea. I got, I got, whatever, I got sinus tea, you know, like whatever. I only have the blood purification tea. She's like, can you have just like tea that I can enjoy? You know? Yeah. Uh, I would welcome to the club, brother. Because um, in my house, we have like 40 different teas on the wall, and my whole family drinks tea, and we all have our favorites. Yeah, the girls are like really kind of adventurous with that. That's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. The green tea, ginger grapefruit. Um, they love any kind of uh geez why is my my mind is failing but the uh red tea oh rooibos no like uh oh rose hip yeah no you have rose hip too but also um when it gets bright red why am i spacing out on it I can't when it gets that. bright red you're not being I'm very it. helpful I'm it. i'll figure it out um, um anyway I, yeah, uh, it, it's, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Hibiscus. Sorry. I'm just like, I knew it was like an H word. I just uh, got Hamaica. Pandemic yeah, pandemic brain right now. Isn't that Hamaica? It, I don't know. I think that's what the word Jamaica means. Really? I'm, I think so. You can look it up, but Hamaica. Well, you can look it up. Oh my God, I was at um, my friend's uh, um, kid's birthday party. Yeah, it's hibiscus, Jamaica. That's what the word, that's what Jamaica means, yeah. That's awesome. Uh And he made like, he's like this Jamaica, uh, I made this Jamaica cocktail with like overproof rum and Jamaica concentrate. And I was like, this is awesome. I like, it tastes like hibiscus. And he was like, yeah, it's kind of like that. And I looked it up. I'm like, it's not kind of like that. It is that. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, you know. That, that was Addo, actually. Going off the ta- on a tangent. But now that the weather's getting nicer, um, hibiscus tea made cold. Pour a little apple juice in there. That's the native iced tea that we've uh, enjoyed for much of our With life. With mint. Last, what, yeah, and a little mint in there. Man, there's about, I don't think there's much that's more refreshing than that. Right? Yeah. 
Yeah. But any, you can pretty much do anything straight up, um, you know, hibiscus tea, mint, you can add a little stevia if you like sweetener, you can add whatever. It's like, there's a lot of ways to uh, do it. I think that one also had like cut up oranges sitting in it. Yeah, you definitely cut up some fruit, put it yeah. in there. Uh, you look like, you. that's a really good uh, people stop by in the middle of the summer day kind of thing. Yeah, it's like you sort of, like, you get that like sangria vibe, but you don't get all the sugar and the alcohol, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's definitely a strong host hostess move to do that yeah yeah, so. yeah. We, we for a while for a couple of summers before there was three kids it was yeah, like yeah. there was a jug of that in the fridge every day that's a, a two kid or less move yeah that, that was even maybe like a one kid <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. um anyway i was yeah, thinking I we could want to say i'm, re- I'm represent today you know in the pandemic detroit and their first responders are being hit really hard Detroit uh, is where my wife is from. It's one of my favorite cities on the planet. Yeah, uh, I think it's awesome. a totally it's a totally underrated city. So I'm repping Detroit today. Nice. Uh, and big ups to Detroit. Big ups to Detroit and the birthplace of techno and Plastic Man, aka Richie Houghton, and the White Stripes. All right. Yeah. All right. Among uh, many other things, w- Motown, baby, Motown. Motown. Yeah. Um, I wanted to talk potentially about, um essential oils you know people are in their house a lot there's like little things you know people we've noticed like there's an uptick in candles right yeah but then i was like you know kind of thinking about the other uses for essential oils um besides scent uh, you know i'm like i realize i use them every single day in my house and it's not something i would be like oh a uh, must have from you know, but actually it's a complete must have for me. I I, yeah, I, yeah. I was thinking through my day and I'm like, when do I use them? I'm like, if my humidifier is out in the morning, I refill it and put in grapefruit for a for a energizing yeah feel. If because my my humidifier is pretty big, so depending on when it runs out, if it runs out, if I notice it's out at night. Then I put a put lavender in it, or or even old boss in it. Hey, I see Sandy. Uh, <laughs> Thank my you, longtime friend. How Thank are you, Sandy? Nice to see, nice to hear from you. Thanks for the beard comment. Uh, um, yeah. So uh, and you know I'll put lavender in there, or if I'm feeling stuffed up or allergy times, I'm use I use old boss in there. And then so yeah. so I was using it in my humidifier, and a lot of people are scared to put it in their humidifier. They don't want to mess it up. But most humidifiers um, now are ionic diffusing, and you can throw it in there, you know? You mean like an ultrasonic? Yeah, like ultrasonic. They have a little disc when you lift the thing up. You can see it. And if you yeah. have one of those, most people at this point, that's how they work, like the standard yeah, so you ones. Can use, you can use essential oils in there because you could just wipe it down every yeah. so often. And yeah. It's fine. Um, yeah. And so, you know, we're using them for that. And then I was down in the morning cleaning the counter, and I realized... Oh, I make my own all-purpose spray too because it's just so fast, yeah. and I'm sick of buying stuff and wasting another plastic thing. What do you What do you put in yours? It's you really simple. It's just half white vinegar, half water, and then I put like a, you know, about 60, 50, 60 drops of essential oil, and then I put from the little dish soap that we use to hand wash dishes. I put one drop in there. So you can use a coconut emulsifier, but dish soap also has emulsifier in it, and you literally need one drop, and then all the essential oils don't just sit on top, they go into it. Yeah, that's perfect. I mean, I, I don't like the idea of putting a soap inside of it because I want to use it on, I guess. It's just, sense. for me, that's just the bottle I'm using for, for counters. So, yeah, I, I have a wood counter in one part. I don't use cleanser on got that it got it so you could use a com- coke a one drop two drops of coconut emulsifier yeah uh, that's um, cool yeah so i like that i like that um yeah so uh, so and you know i actually brought it down i'm reusing an old bottle of somebody else's but um which i love that was a cool that's a good brand but it's too expensive to ship that stuff and glass breaks so we should all just get glass bottles and do them ourselves you know what i mean yeah no doubt um but we i do the same thing we refill, but um i refill a bottle that i bought once and we've used it like 75 i times. bought like you know three of them for like 10 bucks with the gun on it 
and I gave away them. I gave them all away. This is the last one I'm left with because people yeah. come over and they're like, what kind of spray are you using? I'm just like, I'll just make you a bottle and I just give it to them. And, That's cool. You know, and then now they good do that present. at home. What? Good. It's a good present. Yeah, it is. You know, you make one and give people the recipe. That's like a great housewarming gift. Like, hey, save yourself a ton of money and save the earth. Yeah. Here's your starter. And like we do pink grapefruit and rosemary and my uh, kitchen just smells awesome all the time. Your kitchen does smell good. You know? I remember from the old days when I used to be able to visit you. Remember when we used to go to each that. other's houses? Yeah. You mean like one month, which feels like 20 years ago? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. And then I was putting the kids to bed and I realized I keep a big bottle of lavender in there. And I put, I rub on all of their temples, all six little temples get rubbed with lavender. And I even put a, like a drop like on their like pillow next to where their face is. Wow. My kids sleep amazing, dude. That's true. You have, your kids sleep well. You think that Cora would be more chill. Imagine what she'd be like if you didn't use lavender on her. You say that, you say that, but you should see she lays <laughs> down. And it's oh, out. Yeah, she's out. She's out. I'm just saying, she's like one of the most high energy kids I've ever seen. Yeah, you know? for she sure. Made. For sure. Yeah, I mean, hey. She... Um, well, let me talk about. So I got to say, I got to take after you. I'm going to, you, you're providing inspiration for me. I would say my essential oil usage, even though I sell it and I love it, um, and whenever we do use it, I'm always happy. It's more limited to products that already contain essential oils, which is like mm. a, pretty much everything we sell, right? A lot of the natural lotions, whatever. Um, but where I really like it is, um, I like I like inhalers. I like uh, either using my own or like Old Boss, China Oil. China Oil. These nasal inhalers, uh, I wish I had one on me. I, I forgot to bring it, but you, you brought this up. But like- where I'm gonna you, run and grab my China Oil. You, you yeah, can talk. go ahead, go ahead. But yeah, the idea is, you know, you have a little, it's a little tube with holes on the one side and holes on the bottom so that you can put some oil on something and then put it to a nostril and inhale it. And when you're stuffy, cold season, whatever, it's such a great thing to, I keep them in all my winter coat pockets. And so then I can just walk around and put on a coat and I'm like, oh yeah, I have this awesome inhaler. And I just give it a little inhale and my sinuses clear up instantly in like the middle of winter. Jay's got one for us right here. I couldn't find the inhaler, but I got the China oil. You know, one of the things I think the people... China oil, let's just say for a second, this is a product we bring in from Germany. It's essentially peppermint oil. It is peppermint. Uh, That's all it is. Yeah. It is so much peppermint oil. Like, usually you're buying essential oils in little bottles like this. Yeah. this Which are great. This is two and a half times what's in one of those little bottles. And I don't know, how much does China oil cost? Um, I need, I'll look it up right now. Look it up. It, I mean, it is comically value driven, this peppermint oil. I yeah, use it. Is. I use it for, um, I use it the, for. Yeah, uh, uh, 25 mLs is $14. 100 mLs, which is huge. Uh, and they both come with an inhaler that you refillable little inhaler that we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, you like, un uh, there's a little stick in there. $47 for 100 mLs. 100 so, mLs for 47 That's so good. And yeah. the, the, um, so I also, I realize another thing I do is I use this to get rid of ants at this time of year. Oh, wow. Because if you use a little bottle, you'll be done so fast, you know? I take this thing and I pour it by the doorways and by all the entrances and windows and yeah. you get rid, you, you can stop the it, ants it from coming. Well. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, use the diatomaceous earth. I just sprinkle that around. And I think it's amazing that like that stuff, it looks like, you know, dust or powder, but it apparently shreds the insects when they walk across it. It's, it's so crazy. Like if you look at our microscope, it's like the most sharp razor wire you've That's ever so seen. crazy. You know? Anyway, a uh, couple comments. Sorry for the siren. Um, somebody's talking about a raspberries with yogurt sleep smoothie. I've never tried that, but who doesn't love raspberries and yogurt? Uh, and, you know, I would give it a shot. I don't do a ton of fruit because I don't, just being, having diabetes run in the family, I don't do a lot of sugar or fruit, especially before bed. But 
I would definitely try it at least once. And then someone asked, what do you think of the Woodstock Herbals Nasal Wash? Um, I don't know that brand in particular, but as far as nasal washes, I love nasal washes. And I would say I'm a big fan of just using the neti pot salt wash, but I do, I have used a variety of nasal washes, some of which have essential oil in there. Um, and when I'm getting sick, this, this pandemic season, when everyone was sort of, when we were especially at the beginning, when it's the freak out moment, I was using um, an oregano oil nasal spray every single day, twice a day as sort of my, hey, let's just try and let's put out some big guns up in, you know, right up in the nose. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, this, is, this is a pretty interesting formula, dude. Yeah. This has got colloidal silver, apple cider vinegar, horseradish, orange peel, olive wow. leaf, um, black seed oil, nettle, lobelia, golden seal. That's not that's not the big guns in your nose. That's the whole arsenal. Peppermint echinacea, right? echinacea root, three types of echinacea. I mean, it's this is amazing. This stuff's pretty wow. cool looking. No, I'll, we'll check it out. Thank you for the tip, yeah, uh, anonymous for for sending that over. Uh, we'll put it on our scouting list. I will say, you know, this is just, and this is not like saying it's right or wrong. My personal preference is, I like to start with simple formulas. Because I feel like when I have something that has 20 ingredients, I don't, and then if I'm sensitive to it, I don't have any idea which ingredient I'm sensitive yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. And as a really sensitive person that gets irritated easily or problems with particular, even herbs that are really good for you, some of them I don't tolerate well, I prefer to do something more simple. That said, I don't think there's a right or wrong there. I just say it as a warning to some people, if you're sensitive, try less rather than more. You know? Yeah, I would also say like, you know, the the oregano oregano is a pretty powerful. Yeah. You know, you I mean, the sinew orega, that stuff is like when when you first open a bottle, it is a potentially too much, you know? It's like it burns my head, you know? Um but sometimes that's what you need when you got a really bad head cold. Um yeah. the other thing is um um, just that X clear stuff, you know, so, so X clear, X clear, I don't know how you say clear, it. Nobody knows yeah. how you say it. X L E A R. Amazing. Um, how many uh, brands thrive and become amazing despite their name. Um, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's a complete example. Yeah. Um, X clear. I don't know how to say it. Clear, 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 clear. clear. Yeah. Uh, um, but either way, it's a, essentially, uh, it's a saline spray with xylitol. That's all. Yeah. And so, so it tastes sweet. And, and you know, the thing about x or is, is that um, it's one of the, even though, you know, my kids hate my, especially my younger daughter, the idea of squirting something up her nose. She's 12 years old. She'll still scream and cry. But once I got her to finally do it, when she was had a really bad cold, she realized, oh, it doesn't burn. It's sweet when it drips down back in my throat. And although she still thinks it's gross, at least I'm not sort of like, it's not mental torture. It's not physical torture on top of mental torture. You know what I mean? Uh, so I would say it's a great one for just getting some. Uh, if you have kids, people are sensitive. The oregano oil will never be tolerable. Well, then Exler is great. Not really essential oil, but since we're on that topic, um, there's a couple of people asking. Uh, well, thank you for saying thank you, uh, I, I, anonymous. Real quick, um, I, real quick. The, the you know why the Exler is so amazing and why it works so well. Is because bacteria and 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 bacteria loves sugar, right? Yeah. So we all we all know that like when you when you are trying to get rid of um, inflammation or a, a bad anything, they tell you all doctor naturopaths, all even regular doctors will tell you cut out refined sugar, cut out sugar, cut out sugar, right? Cut out bread, cut out sugar. We've been hearing this all the time in in extreme cases. For extreme diseases and extreme situations, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, that's why ketosis is so helpful for many conditions. Yeah, I mean, and that's, we can talk another about a whole topic, other yeah. thing about that because that's gone to maybe an unhealthy place at times. Um, but one of the cool things is that it tricks, it, xylitol is so chemically similar yeah, to yeah. sugar, not only does it trick your taste buds and taste sweet, but it tricks the bacteria and it latches onto it and then the sinus wash rinses, rinses it away. It's incredible stuff. Yeah. What a simple science to that. That's what I love about that, you know? 
it's yeah, it's yeah. one action, you know, or two essentially, but it's still really cool, you know. Yeah, um, I want to say first of all, what's up, Chris? How you doing, man? Uh, it's been too long. Thanks for the shout out on uh, on Facebook, and then uh, you know, as far as the anonymous, you asked about probiotics, herbs for hair growth, uh, for diabetes. Check out uh, Gymnema Silvestri, of course. You're right. Um, and then Hops has been using that for what years and years, right? Yeah, yeah. We'll definitely we'll definitely um, cover some of the other topics you mentioned on future tea times. Uh, was it says Disco Lady Two was prescribed a nasal spray with steroids in it, and once I found out, I tossed in the garbage. Yeah, you know, like, I don't like to get into saying what should be done with things, because obviously, there's some people who probably need it. But in general, I don't think that's the first line of defense. And my feeling is yeah. just nasal irrigation. It's so good. This is allergy season for many people. There's a pandemic, people are still getting flus and colds. In my mind, just just wash out your sinuses, you decide what you want. But like I said, the, the simpler, the better in my mind. Yeah, I mean, look, there's extreme si- there's extreme situations where like you have an important thing, and sometimes you're like, I gotta take the, I always say to you, I gotta take the Babylon stuff. I got, <laughs> I gotta go. Yeah, yeah. Like, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. This one of these four days a year, I gotta do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, well, and you know, our take has always been, start with the most gentle thing that will be effective, and work your way up. And so I don't have like this all medicine, all allopathic medicine is bad. Just try to limit it to only when you absolutely need it and try to need it as seldomly as possible. And also, let, let, let's also just like acknowledge that kit, like that, that herbs are allopathic. Yeah. You know, the, people love to say like, oh, I needed something homeopathic and then they grab an herbal remedy. Yeah. You know, ho- homeopathy, and we should do maybe a whole segment on this, but um, and, and maybe we can add in probiotics, herbs for hair growth and a diabetes episode. We'll just add those to the, to the lineup. Yeah. But, um, the homeopathy is, is more like using something that causes that in small doses to trigger your body's immune response. Right. And then, uh, her- herbs are the same, are using the same action yeah. as drugs. It's suppressing a symptom, right? Yeah. Or counteracting or fighting against it. Yeah. You're yeah. absolutely right. And I think the key is they're all, they're all drugs. That's the, I think the point. You're they're all chemicals, is that, right? Is that water is, is a chemical. chemical. <laughs> yeah. But so why not look at where they've already, nature has already provided us with some yeah. of these rather than having to go for big guns. I agree. I don't, this is not a topic that I get into a ton, but I, I think it was worth saying since you brought it up. Yeah. Like steroids are really powerful and really great when in certain conditions they save lives. And we are great in our medical system at saving lives. It's we, you know, keeping people alive and saving lives is what Western medicine has done the best at in and surgery, trauma. So, yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. If I get in a car accident, take me to the hospital and get me uh, get me fixed up and save my life. You know. Yeah. Um, and so I kind of feel like we should give credit where it's due. We have amazing drugs to keep people alive and things like that. But there's also just hey, I'm. I have a drippy sinus because the trees are budding, well, are, are blossoming, and I just need something for that, and I don't need a big gun. There's an there's an interesting like irony that I'm sensing right now is like I've been trying to get like my own personal doctors to understand and value preventative medicine as much as I do, and now we're in the middle of this pandemic where people are like being like, "This is a hoax. It's no big deal. It's just the flu," and and. and Scientists and doctors are trying to tell you to be preventative and that if it works, you will see nothing. It's the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. tables have been so turned. And like, I, I hope that, um, I hope yeah, that yeah, some I medical, don't, I don't say that with glee that like, no, 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 wrong. it's just it's funny. Like, to first me. of all, big ups to thank you to the doctors and nurses and everyone. Yeah. You know, we have a pharmacy, all the retail workers, all the food workers who are still out there, uh, in the world. That's, I'm, Huge things. All I'm saying is that like I, things that we learn from this situation and take into the future with us, I hope that um, uh, like my personal doctor will 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 potentially have more of a um, a value for you know for 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 prevent prevention, you know, yeah. and maybe I, think I, about I, that more. 
this, you know, hopefully everyone who's watching and people all over the world will push for that um, because it's needed. And it's because fine. your it's fish fine. oil should be covered by your insurance. <laughs> you know yeah, I mean? like, uh, first of all, our dad, uh, Abdul, is on the line. Mm. Uh, is, is, is What's up? Now. What's up, Pops? If anyone uh, has a question for Papa Q, the, um, um, yeah. who is a pharmacist and a, and a pretty smart guy, um, yeah. <laughs> drop it in the yeah. comments. And um, we can liaise. Yeah. Anyway, um, Jay, th there's uh, one other area that I like is um, essential oils. I think it's worth talking about is essential oils uh, used internally. And I'm not going to go around recommending that everyone just pour their essential oils in. In their, Here's my take on that. Most of them are probably safe, but because they're not produced in food, most of them are not produced in food uh environments and that's not something that is really uh generally specified um or approved regulated very well i don't really say just pour it in there but there are products like mertol uh, which we sell a german product which is a congestion tablet that oh has really strong essential oils and it helps break up congestion i've been using it since i was a little kid i have gotten I, I through honestly, pneumonia bronchitis everything with that i wouldn't have been able to survive without that stuff yeah yeah and yeah. it's not a cure for those things but it helps break up congestion and so to me that's something that i have been keeping at home and whenever i feel a little like oh the allergies are dripping and i'm like i don't even want to come anywhere near the symptoms of what's going on right now yeah, yeah. i've been throwing one of those in and, my and, in my little mix every morning and when, it, when else have you ever been like Oh, I, I was saying funny things that I've heard this 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 past month. One was, um, thank God it was just a UTI. Yeah. Um, an, yeah. Another one was, whew, a wet cough. Yeah, yeah. Both. And then the other one is... Surprising good news. Yeah, exactly. And the other one is, hey, want to hang out? I'll send you a Zoom link. Yeah. But, but the um, but the wet cough thing. That's the thing about Guillermo Toll. It's really nice because it break it like really loosens things up for you. You know what I mean. Yeah. So you don't feel that tight, tight, you know, tightness where you're yeah. like, I wish this would just loosen up and become productive. You know, yeah. um, one of the things you use all the time, and maybe you mentioned it when I ran to get China oil, but do you you use your little headache pen, right? Yeah, yeah. First of all, I want to say well, we're going to link all the products below. Um, so Mertol, anything we've mentioned, we'll, we'll shout it out. And as we get better at this, we'll probably be doing some of this live as we're talking. Yeah, and uh, also, so like, you... le le let's have, we can show <coughs> Papa Q's recommendation of which tea to drink with a, with a Mertol, how many times a day. Yeah, <coughs> our sort of, this is not a COVID thing. It's just a bronchial support protocol that we've had for 20, 30 years or more um, that we is kind of our go-to if you walked into the store and asked our pharmacist. So we'll put that below as well. Um, yeah, but the final, you know, I, I guess I, I just wanted to talk about essential oils. Like, uh, you know, there's sort of a stereotype of like the young person who's like, I want to make my own everything, which I love, first of all. So to all the essential oil junkies out there, keep it going. You're right. And now that everyone's scrambling to get things and you're making everyone everything at home, uh, you, you know, you, it's, it's, uh, the nature, the universe is, is basically, um, giving you a nod right now. Um, but if you're not that you don't have to feel like you have to become sort of, um, tinkerer extraordinaire just to basically like Jay's comment, grab a couple oils, throw a bunch in, you don't have to be super specific in some, water and vinegar and like have a homemade cleaning solution and then that's one less thing you have to worry about going out to the store to buy yeah right yeah in one less plastic container you have to throw away knowing that they probably aren't recycling what's in your recycling bin other other interesting uses of essential oils i'm thinking about from working in the store <coughs> cookies <coughs> oh yeah <coughs> around christmas we always get the traditional these. holiday cookies we have the anise oil and, oil and the cinnamon oil, oil. <laughs> we sell a ton of that, and we always have to stock the big bottles for the German ladies who are making platters and platters of them. And then, yeah, yeah. And usually they bring us some. Mm. We better be not socially distanced enough that we can have some oh, cookies next holiday. Amazing. Season. And then another one that's kind of a weird thing that I think people might like to hear is 
winter green oil tea. What do we? What do people come in for that one for a strange choice? Do you remember or no? Uh, Papa Q will know. What is it? It's for people swimmers and water polo guys. Oh, they, they, um, they rub it. Yeah, all over their bodies. But for but it, is it is it a weapon against the other team? I think it might be. That's why I thought it was so weird. <laughs> yeah, uh, Dad's shouting out thieves oil uh, or thieves mixture, which we have as well, which is a notorious. So it came about it, during you know, a pandemic. Yeah, this, is the, this is the folklore story. Yeah, but during the Black Plague, when people would die, pretty pretty morbid story. Um, which, they, by the way, would Shakespeare go get their possessions, and so the thieves would put a scarf with this oil over their <clears> face <throat> so that they could enter a plague infested house house and like steal the goodies before other people got to it without getting sick. <laughs> so the story goes. I, I'm not, you know, I don't say like that's going to cure everything, but I think we now know that a lot of those essential oils have some pretty powerful um, protective factors, right? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, we, you know, I, I also, I think that thieves oil is awesome. I love that stuff. That's a great thing to put at night. If you have a little tickle, put it in your humidifier. But, <clears throat> um, and, but I also use old bus just sort of as an interchange as well in that, in that same way, you know, like when I'm just yeah. looking for a defense and I just like, you know, or my wife is sick and I'm in the same bed or whatever. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, I just yeah. put old boss everywhere, you know? Yeah, someone's asking. This is kind of <laughs> what I was trying to talk about. Uh, Anonymous asked about uh, so many store essential oils are not ingestible. So where are the ingestible oils? Mm. You can find it already in some products like Myrtle that we talked about and other mixtures, uh, you know, oregano oil mixtures, etc. And This certain, is a yeah. tricky topic. Talking to the essential oil owners, what I've heard sort of off the record is, can you do it? Yes. Are we going to go on the record and say you can? No, because then we'd be putting ourselves at a liability for saying that it's an ingestible product. <clears throat> and then so I will say the same thing. I'm not recommending you take our essential oils, which don't say that and do that. Do many people do it? I think that they do. We know that. Can I say do. that yeah. you should? We what? know that they do. We used to carry a line that was that had it was from a doctor yeah. and it was recommended, but the line is no longer. And yeah, there are some products, and we'll try and post some of those. That you know, if you look, a lot of these formulas do have essential oils in them. But if you're looking for individual oils that say safe for ingestion, they're pretty hard to find. And even the companies that say that in their marketing uh, materials. If you look, they don't have any special certification saying it's a food product, you know? Yeah. 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 And uh, someone talked about nutraceuticals, uh, NAC, pycnogenol, uh, thieves like fog oils. Yeah. Colloidal silver. We kind of covered this, some of this earlier. I take, but right, I take pycnogenol, actually. Yeah. Which is a I pine. Take NAC, uh, you know. Which is a pine uh, oil, right? <clears throat> Yeah, it comes from that, I believe. Yeah, um, yeah. That's one that Gundry recommends. Yeah, you know, there are so many. Uh, I appreciate the suggestions. You're right. And I, honestly, like, uh, between knowledge off the top of the head and kind of going on forever, we could probably talk all afternoon about, about this. And some of it I need to brush up on because I know the basics, but we'd want to cover it in more detail. Um, but, you you know, the point is there are so many things out there that we could be using. Today we kind of wanted to drink some delicious Hujicha tea, and also kind of talk essential oils. But uh, thank you. You're providing good, um, good, uh, you know, food for thought for future teas. So come join us tomorrow, and we'll cover something else. All right. In the meantime, Jay, I like that. You're right. Put a little. Uh, you don't want to get. You don't want to get peppermint oil too close to your eyes, but sort of the back of the temples, base of the neck, yeah. and then wash your hands before you forget and rub your eyes. Uh, yeah. Can be very nice. Yeah, And, you know, good tip with most essential oils is this one you can do. Don't put it directly on the skin without testing in a small area first. Some of them definitely you don't want to go directly on the skin without at least um, diluting it in something like jojoba oil, olive oil, etc. So, you know, good. Uh, there are good tips on that. But in general, get some recipes. We'll yeah, we got some, and you know, and, and, and there's like, uh, you know, one of the things that 
<clears throat> it's nice about the we the EO ones that we carry, those big soaps and big all purpose three in ones that are bubble bath and kids, they make yeah. an unscented specifically for this purpose, you know? Some people yeah. are just sensitive to scent, but I'd say half of those people are buying that one and putting in their favorite fragrance. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. You're right. <clears throat> awesome. You done, Jay? I think yeah. uh I'm gonna Yeah, I got like it's a been, little It's been great having tea with you. Hey, thank you to everyone. Um hey show us some love uh below if you can um because this will help spread the word yeah uh, and why don't we give away today uh hujicha tea hujicha uh, or you want to give away a china oil with an inhaler yeah let's do both <laughs> yeah we'll okay one, one, we're, we'll give away two of them I and mean, one of each uh okay. and so uh show us some love and we might uh randomly uh pick you out to uh get one of these products okay mm, that stuff's good yeah it's so good. All right. Uh, yeah. If you write in the comments, I want, I want stuff. <laughs> Hit. Yeah. Or tag, tag a friend who you think would like it or whatever. We'll, we'll take care of you. Yep. All right. All right. Much love T. Have a good rest of your day yeah. and you I'll too, see you Jay. tomorrow where we, um, we'll see you all again tomorrow too for tea time at the apothecary. Peace. Yeah. Peace out. Thanks. <laughs> now give me a second. Here we go. It's okay. I'll just keep smiling. <laughs>